Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a full zero to 100 tutorial. I went full glam. I am going out tonight, I'm going to Vancouver, so I decided to do a full glam tutorial. I am in love with it. I'm wearing these green kind of striped pants. So I did a green type, um, kind of like a shimmery eye. I was trying to go towards cool tone colors, but unfortunately it ended up a little bit warmer than I wanted, but that's okay. I'm still loving it. It's really pretty. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Hey everyone, welcome back. So I started with my eyebrows already done. I use Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium brown, and now I'm going in with the Tartlet eyeshadow palette. And I'm using Wanderer first, and I'm just laying down a base coat of this pretty much all over the eye, and I'm fanning it outwards. So now I'm going in with a little bit more of a definer brush and I'm going in with the shade Dreamer which is just a little bit darker than that and I'm really making like a round eye shape. So I'm going a little bit above my crease right now and then I'm just going to blend it out and blend those two shades together. So now I'm going in with um, NARS eyeshadow. It's so beautiful, I love this shade. It's like an iridescent kind of green and it has a little bit of purple in it also. And it's called, I think what I'm gonna say is Pacifay. Um, but it came up when, like later on you'll see, it looks a little bit more blue than it does green just because of the color that I'm gonna put on um, after that's in the, cor the inner corner. So right now I'm going in with um, Tarte's eyeshadow in Fashionista, which is just a really nice black that they have. And I'm just lightly applying that just to make a little bit more definition on my outer part of my eye, just a little bit more of a cat eye look. And then I'm just fanning that outwards also and buffing it out. So now, as I was saying, I'm going in right now with Anastasia eyeshadow in Legend and it's a really nice champagne shimmer and when i put it over top of the green it kind of made it a little bit blue looking um it's still beautiful but i just um i was looking to go more green but that's okay so now i'm going in with fairy lashes and in they're in the style aurora they're so beautiful i love them for this look they were so perfect then i'm just taking a uh, foundation brush and i'm going in with born this way foundation in warm beige and i'm just coating that all over my face just because i did a spray tan and i'm super pale so i just want to warm up my skin and make my face the same color as the rest of my body will be so i'm just going everywhere and don't forget to do your ears like i had one of my ears um, out just the way that i did my hairstyle so i needed to make sure that i foundation my ears too and blend it all in everywhere so now I'm going in with Becca's under eye brightening corrector. I'm just taking that under my eyes and buffing that out just a little bit. Then I'm going in with Tarte's Shape Tape in medium. This is a gorgeous concealer, I love it. It's really full coverage, and especially for these glam looks, this is like perfect for what you need. I'm just kind of going on the high points of my face. So now I'm going in with Contour Cosmetics, their Cream Contour Kit and I'm using the second darkest shade and I'm just gonna contour pretty much everywhere that you would. I'm doing my forehead, I'm doing my cheekbones, I did my nose, I did a little bit on my jaw and now I'm just going to blend everything out including foundation, including concealer. I start with the darker shades for the most part and then I work my way to the lighter shades blending them out because if you don't you can kind of sometimes get like a muddy looking effect if you're smearing it too much. So now I'm just going in with um, Hourglass's Veil Translucent Setting Powder. 
and I'm just setting my under eyes and around my nose just because it's going to be a long night so I just want to make sure that everything's set perfectly and that just really helps the makeup stay in place. Again I'm just getting rid of any kind of creases and then I'm going in with my powder puff and putting in the setting powder. Okay so now I'm going in with Charlotte Tilbury's flawless finish flawless finish powder yeah it's so gorgeous i would highly recommend it uh, at first i absolutely love the mac powder but now i can totally tell the difference between the charlotte tilbury and the mac yes it's just amazing you have to go check it out so now i'm going in with mark jacobs omega bronzer and tantric and i'm just pretty much going absolutely everywhere that i did the dark contour i'm just going over that to set it and to also just amplify the contour. So my cheekbones, I did my forehead, I'm doing my jawline after, I'm gonna do my nose, and I think I'm gonna do my neck and just kinda bronze myself up. Just make myself a little bit darker and a little bit more sculpted. So now I'm going in with NARS blush in Ghoul? Ghoul? don't know how to pronounce it but it's really pretty it's a really like rich rose petal kind of color um, it's really gorgeous and I just like the way that it looked with this look so now I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorese highlight one of my favorites it's so beautiful it's not too shimmery for me sometimes you get like intense glitter with some of these highlights and I'm not really into that so I really am liking the Amorese highlight right now yeah and I just go on the high points of my face I go on the tip of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow and cheeks and chin just to highlight okay that's enough yeah so now I'm going in with tart tartlet palette in wanderer which was the very first shade that we used in the very beginning of doing my eyes which was the lightest brown shade so I'm just kind of smoking that out pretty much into my wing right along the lash line and then now I'm going in with dreamer which is the darker brown and I'm just really getting that really close to the lash line just to kind of make that lash line a little bit thicker but not too too much So now we're going with lip liner. I'm using True Fiction in LP02. It's like a really nice kind of pinky nude mauve shade and I really like it. So I'm using that tonight. Just overlining my lips a little bit. Now just doing the top one. And yeah, so I'm in the market to find some new lip liner. So if anybody has any comments or any ideas or products that they like for lip liners then please put them in the comment section um, just let me know like shades I'm looking for kind of like nice nudes nothing that's too dark and different formulas so just let me know so now I'm going in with Kat Von D the studded kiss lipstick in Agatha and it was really really light really pale usually I'm a lot lighter than this I did like a spray tan so this is like a little bit excessive for me so I went in with Pat McGrath lip gloss in Flesh Fantasy and that just kind of darkened it, made it look a little bit more, I don't know, suitable for what I wanted. <laughs> and I'm just putting that all over my lips and it's such a gorgeous gloss. I would highly recommend trying it out too. Okay, so now I'm going in with Better Than Sex Mascara just to coat my lashes. I'm gonna do my hair and then I'm gonna come right back Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Comment below if you want me to do anything specific. Love you guys.